Hello, I'm David, I'm Lindsay, and this is Desmond Stonders. Well, when an evening doesn't go to plan, quite often there's a reward. We've arrived at Locking Dorb after our first choice it was full. As well as the mallard, there's plenty else about to see, including a lovely sunset. Of course, Loch in Dorb, apart from its beautiful nature, lovely birds, is all about its castle. But it was nearly 24 hours before I could fly to the castle. Because shortly after the sunset shots were taken, try saying that six times quickly, we, uh, we had rain. And we had rain and wind most of the next day. In fact, you can see the wind takes me off course during this flight. But it was low enough for me to fly and the rain stained off long enough for me to take some good pictures. So stick with us for the flights and those feathered things that go on their own flights. With the wind dropping and no rain forecast, I was able to fly at a much lower level over the castle. Of course, I'm also more used to the drone and its, uh, its duration and uh, know that I have plenty of battery power to get home to the van.
if you want to know some history about Lockendorp Castle, the wolf of Badenox Lair, please check out some of the other videos from Lockendorp, either from the Castles playlist or the Lockendorp playlist. You should be able to find the information in those. Some may question you flying low and close to the castle at this time of year when the birds are nesting. Well, if you'd watched a Wednesday waffle from a few weeks ago, you'd know that the next birds I show you had already been chased off both the castle and the loch by um, some so-called birders. Um, they had their spotting scopes, their long lenses, their cameras, their binoculars. And we watched them chase a pair of black-throated divers which had just swim, swam serenely past us with uh, not a care in the world until a, a horde, there must have been about eight of them in three cars, um, they just chased them across the loch and they took off and flew off. Um, so I was able to see that uh, there was going to be no problem with flying the drone as the birds had already been scared off. But let's have a look at them.
With one last pass over the edge of the castle, it's time to head back to the landing area and check out the park up. Thank you for watching Desmond's Donners and remember please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.